Hi, I'm Rita. Welcome, welcome back to my booktube channel, Life Worth Reading. And welcome to the first official TBR video of 2023. As you might have noticed, I didn't do a TBR video for January because I just wanted to start my year reading whatever I wanted to. I didn't want to put myself and a lot of pressure about number of books that I had to read, a list of books that I had to read, and I just wanted to have the start of the year that's more relaxed and it really helped me out in terms of me wanting to read again because December I didn't read almost anything and so I just really wanted January to be like a chill month for me but I am back. I am back in February with a new TBR version of my game because I was also feeling a little bit bored with the way that I used to do my TBR games my tarot deck, the prompt, I ch decided to change it up a little bit so I decided to change up and add a bunch of new prompts because I used to just do like a general prompt like any two card means reading a short book or any three card meaning means reading a new author and honestly I was getting a little bit bored of it because there wasn't a lot of variety in it and so now each card from the entire deck has its own special prompt. I will definitely leave the Google Docs in the description like I usually do so you can check out all the changes because I did change up and add a bunch of new stuff. Besides that, I decided that at least this month I was only going to be picking three cards, one from the Major Arcana and two from the Minor Arcana because I just I didn't want to get overwhelmed. I had a lot of other books that I need to read for videos from my library. There's a lot going on and I didn't want to get overwhelmed with a certain list that I had to follow. So there's only three cards this month, but I will also be randomizing two other books from different lists. I have posted in January my 12 books to read in 2023 video if you want to watch it. And every single month I'll be randomizing a number from that list to see which book I have to read that month. Besides that, I will also be randomizing a number from my physical TBR and I have to read that book that month as well. It was also a goal of mine to read more books from my physical TBR and this will certainly help me to do so. So at least this month in February, I have to read five books, three from my tarot deck and two from my physical TBR or from my 12 books to read in 2023 video. Hello and welcome to the first TBR of 2023. I am about to pick three cards from my deck. It'll be one from the Major Arcana and two from the Minor Arcana. This is a Major Arcana and we'll be picking our first card from here. So let's see what it is. And our first card of 2023 is going to be the death card. <laughs> okay, that's a nice start. The first card that I pulled for 2023 was actually the death card, which, you know, it's exciting. <laughs> and this card still means to read a mystery or a thriller. I didn't change that prompt because it just fits very nicely. And for this card, I will be reading Big Little Lies by Leanne Moriarty. This is a book that I picked up from my library unknowing that this card would come up, obviously. And I am very excited to read this book. It is a book that almost everyone loves. It's one of those mysteries that people just say that is like one of the best ever. It's about like suburban, messy mom drama. And it was actually a TV show as well. This cover is obviously from the TV show. And actually, a lot of people love the TV show, but I feel like it has kind of like mixed reviews. Some people like the book more, some people like the TV show more. I do want to start with the book because I just, I feel like you should start there. And I just, I'm excited to see what happens because honestly, I have no idea what happens. I have no idea if it's a murder mystery, if it's like a disappearance mystery, if it has all of that combined. I have absolutely no idea. I know that Meg with Books recently a few, couple of months ago finally read it and she really really loved it and honestly I trust Megan with my whole life 
so if she loves it i probably will as well and i'm very excited for this and i can't wait to see what i think of it and then i'll watch the show for sure because i love almost all the actors in it and it just seems like something that i would really like so this is our first book for February. Now let's pick from the Minor Arcana our two cards. Our second card of this year will be the six of wands next up i got the six of wands and specifically the six of wands means to read a translated book as all sixes do but this one is to read a translated book in my favorite genre now i don't have one specific favorite genre so this is cheating a little bit but I do really really love short story collections. We know that about me if you don't now you do I do love a short story collection and for this card a translated Short story collection. I'll be reading life ceremony by Sayaka Murata This is the author of both the earthlings and Convenience star woman I read Convenience star woman and I really loved it and I actually DNF'd the earthlings because it had a lot of themes that really messed me up and that I do not like reading about and so I'm excited because I gave one of the books four stars and then I DNF one of them but this is a collection of short stories like I mentioned do I have any idea what like the running theme is no I like the title life ceremony it's a short book and I just I do love short story collections so I'm hoping that this one is a hit because I just want to see if I'm more consistent on the side of loving Sayaka Murata or not really identifying with some of the themes that she chooses to write about. Let me know if you've read Life Ceremony already because I do want to know your opinion on it. I haven't seen a lot of reviews for it actually, which is weird because Convenience Star Woman was such a big hit, but I'm excited to give this one a try and see what I think of it. Our third and last card of the February TBR is going to be the Princess of Pentacles. And finally, I got the Princess of Pentacles, which is exciting because any princess or in other decks pages means to read a new release and specifically the Princess of Pentacles means to read a 2023 new release. Now, we are at the end of January. There are not a lot of books have come out yet. But one book that I'm very excited about did come out, and that is really good actually by Monica Hazy. This is a contemporary book. It's supposed to be very humorous. It's about a 29-year-old that just got divorced. So her marriage lasted less than two years, and she's now a divorced woman just trying to rebuild her life. She's doing a PhD that is not going that well. And it just it reminded me a little bit of Honey Girl by Morgan Rogers, which I really liked. I really enjoyed that book. And I do like following these stories about women in their late 20s or early 30s just trying to find their way back in life and trying to reconstruct their life after something happens. And this, at least in the description, it says that it's going to be a really funny book. It's going to be a contemporary with a lot of those strong themes. Actually, the ratings have not been that great yet, but you know, this just just come out. So I'm hoping that it'll get better, people will start enjoying it more, me included. And I I feel like I, there's something about this book that made me want to read it. And therefore, it's one of the only books in January that is available on Scribd and that I'm actually excited to read. So I'll be giving that one a try and I'll see what I think of it. Okay, so those are the three first books that I'm going to be reading in February, all from my tarot deck. Do check out the new prompts because I feel like they are very specific now and i think that that will improve the quality of this game and the entertainment value for you and for me now like i mentioned i do want to 
read two other books, one for my physical TBR and one for my 12 books to read in 2023 video. And therefore I am sharing the help of my reading journal in order to get that list. Because in my reading journal, I posted my 2023 setup, if you do want to watch it. I have here my 12 books to read inside this little envelope. And I also have my physical TBR here. And my physical TBR is labeled from one to 17. And obviously the 12 books to read is from one to 12. Now, in my 12 books to read, there are, I think three that are on my physical TBR. So if those overlap, we'll just have to figure some system out. But I'm going to be starting with my physical TBR. So I'm going on Google now and doing a random number generator from between one to 17 and we'll just see what happens. Okay, let's generate. Okay, we got seven. Now let me see what the hell is seven. <gasps> oh my God. Okay. Okay. Hang on a minute. The book that I got is Bone Witch by Rin Chapeco. If you've seen this book, it's because I haven't read it yet. Okay, it was on a TBR, I think October or November or something like that, and I didn't get to it. But I have to this month, okay? I'm trying really hard to conquer my physical TBR and I'm trying really hard to check off all the books in this February TBR and all the TBRs onwards. So I'm going to be trying my best to read this book, okay? I'm really doing it. It's happening. It's happening next month. I'm doing it. This book is about necromancy, which I do really like that trope and that theme. And it's about a main character, Tia, who is a necromancer, also called a bone witch. And in her kingdom, country, whatever it is, that is a power that is very feared. It is a power that is associated with darkness and evil. But I think that her brother goes missing and there's a war coming. I don't know, something happens and I'm excited to read it. This is a duology at least, or a trilogy or something like that. So this means to start a new series, but I don't have to read the other books if I don't like this one. That's what I'm telling myself this year. Even if I start a series, I don't have to continue if I don't want to. So for now, I'm treating this as a standalone and I'll see what I think of it when I get to it. And I will get to it. And now for my list of the 12 books that I wanna read in 2023, I will also be randomizing a number and we'll just see what I get because this is kind of stressing me out. I'm not going to lie. Okay, so here we have the seven and I'm going to generate from one to 12. It's one. Oh my God. <gasps> oh my God. Oh Lord. Hang on a minute. For number one, we did get a book that is on my physical TBR and that is Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson. This is a book that I do want to get to, but I'm quite scared and I don't know of what. I'm just a little bit scared of this. I know that a lot of people love it. It's just very hyped up in my mind and that also scares me, like that always scares me a little bit when books are too hyped up, but I do think that I'll really like this. I don't know what the problem is. This is about our main character, Elizabeth, who thinks that all sorcerers are evil and she works or lives in one of the Oster Mir's great libraries but something happens in the library and she is accused of treason and it goes back she finds out that this conspiracy like goes back to all of the great libraries and that they're all endangered and so she enlists the help of a man which I'm assuming there's a little bit of romance involved to help her figure out the mystery I guess it sounds like something that I would really like. We have the fantasy elements, we have the library elements, we have a beautiful book and I don't know, I don't know. I'm a little bit scared. I'm a little bit scared of this one, but I'm going to be reading it in February. And finally, I do want to talk about some other library books that I do have that I'll be reading next month, or at least trying to. The first we have the graphic novel Paper Girls, which is by the author of Saga, which I haven't read either, but this has a very beautiful, like color palette it is very enticing to look at it is very beautiful and i want to try to read more graphic novels i'm going to see if i like this one or not i know it has some sci-fi and fantasy elements to it i'm going to try it and see what i think of a graphic novel and i'll be reading it next month i think right at the beginning because it, it's going to be an easy read like you can just sit down and read the whole thing which is what i'll be doing and we'll see what i think of it because I know a lot of people love Paper Girls 
and they, my library does have the rest of the series, so we'll see what happens. Then I also have To the Lighthouse by Virginia Woolf, which is a book that I want to read because I do want to try and start reading Virginia Woolf. I know she's a very acclaimed author. I know that so many people love her and I'm in a literature degree. So I feel like I need to be a little bit more cultured maybe and try some Virginia Woolf. I know this is one of her most popular novels. It's very autobiographical from what, my understanding of it. And I'm just excited to see what I think of it and to see if I want to continue on with Virginia Woolf because I do want to read her diaries and before I read her diaries I want to try at least one or two of her works just to see what I think of them before going into her diaries. Then another library book that I have is The Paper Palace by Miranda Colley Heller and I don't really understand the synopsis. I, I think that this is like a romance time travel book. It's about a woman who goes to like a cabin in a lake for many generations. She goes there every single summer and then she sees something. God, I don't I don't understand it, okay? I'm not going to lie. I'm going into this book completely blind. I've heard a lot about it. It's just been translated. It was at my library. I picked it up. It's it is a big book. It is almost 400 pages. It just it feels thick. I don't know why. But I do want to see what I think of it because I feel like it could work for me. I know it has a little bit of romance, which I've not been a fan of lately, but I think it's going to really work for me and I want to give it a try. And finally, the last book that I'll be definitely reading in February because I'm already reading it now is Holopox, The Hunt for Morgan Crow by Jessica Towson. If you've seen my latest vlog, my Come With Me to Madrid vlog, you know that I've read Nevermore and the sequel Wondersmith and I am obsessed with this series, okay? I'm really, really loving it. I'm really, really enjoying it. I'm having such a good, great time and now I'm on to the third book, The Holopox, The Hunt for Morgan Crow because the fourth book comes out in October and I can't believe people have been waiting for it for th three years. If I had to wait for it for three years, I would have collapsed and cried. And I'm just, I'm so excited to continue on with the series. Like it is unreal and I'm reading it now and I'll be definitely reading it in February because I love the series, okay? I, I do, I do. My life has changed. I'm not gonna lie, it's only January, but like my life has changed. Okay, so just to review the big physical TPR that I have here. In February, I'll be trying to read To the Lighthouse by Virginia Woolf. Big Little Eyes by Leanne Moriarty. Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson. The Bone Witch by Reen Chepeco. The Paper Palace by Miranda Cowley Healer. And then Paper Girls by... It does not say... Brian K. Vaughn. And then, not on my physical books list, I have Life Ceremony by Sarah Camerata and Really Good Actually by Monica Hazy. All right, so that is it for all the books that I do want to try in February. I am really enjoying the new prompts that I have and the new possibilities to specify and read more specific prompts each month. If you want to check it out, like I said, I'll leave the Google Docs in the description down below so you can play along or check out all the new prompts that I did put in. As always, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for my bookish content and I'll see you in my next video. I hope you have a nice day and always remember that life is worth reading.